All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. Please continue to like, subscribe, share this channel. Share the videos that you think is worth sharing. Leave your comments. Give me the thumbs up. Check out my community page. Wanted to do video. Another one, because we're a week out from Thanksgiving. And then after that, the time of heathenism is going to start. And I said heathenism. What am I talking about? Setting up your Christmas trees. A day after giving thanks to the Lord for setting up our country, which we've turned our back on God. But after that, after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, we're going to go out, spend all our hard-earned money on fake gifts for a fake holiday, condemning us straight to hell. Prophet Jeremiah, per the word of God, not Greg, not anybody else, per the word of God, do not take on the way of the heathens. Jeremiah 10, read it. I'm not going to read it, scripture, item, item for item. You're not going to believe me. You're not going to listen. Look it up for yourself. Jeremiah 10, Old Testament. Take not the way of the heathens. Cutting down a tree, working it. Decorating it with silver and gold. Fastening it down to the, to the ground so you can sit around and idol worship it. Don't do that. Don't do that. God says don't do that. I'm holy. Don't do that. You're blaspheming against the Lord. And then if you're belonging to a church saying, oh, well, we're going to set up a nativity scene. You're idol worshiping. You're blaspheming against God. There is no scripture in the Bible saying Jesus was born on December 25th. That's a lie straight from hell. Singing Christmas carols is blaspheming against God. Kneeling down to baby Jesus in the manger, surrounded by fake men in fake beards, pretending to be the wise men, and you're looking at some fake plastic baby, whether it's white, brown, black, yellow, green, it doesn't matter. It's fake. It's idolatry. You're, you're blaspheming against God. Jesus was never born on December 25th. The Apostle Luke says that the angel visited Mary in the sixth month of the year. That's June in our calendar. Add nine months to that. That means baby Jesus was born sometime in March or April. We don't know the exact date because it's never in Scripture. So you're celebrating a fake birth. You're a liar. You're a hypocrite. And when you're having Santa Claus visit your house on magic reindeers to make him fly so he could be everywhere at once, popping up and down a fake chimney spiritually, you're blaspheming against God, giving him the same power as him. That's a lie. Stop it. You see these fake churches straight from hell saying we're setting up a nativity scene right out front of our church. We're decorating our church with a fake tree. We're putting silver and gold in, going directly against the scriptures. One of the churches said, well, we didn't put up a tree, but we're, we're celebrating the spirituality of the birth of Christ. You're a liar. If you're insinuating, because it's close to the 25th, that you're celebrating the birth of Christ around the 25th, you're a liar. You're a hypocrite. You're lying to your congregation, saying, well, we didn't put up a tree, but we're celebrating the birth of Christ. You're a liar. You're leading your congregation straight to hell. If you're going to give thanks for the birth of Christ, then say, thank you, Lord, for coming into my life every day, each day, every day you wake up. Thank you for letting me wake up, Lord. When you go to bed, thank you for getting me home safe and sound to my family or by myself, whatever. Thank you for giving me the food that I eat. Thank you for giving me a place to rest my head. Thank you for everything you do for me, Lord, because it's up to him whether you live or die. 
And if you're out there celebrating fake holidays, spending all your money on gifts, you're going straight to hell. Because he told you, don't do it. When you're sitting around the living room with your significant other, and you're saying, wow, we did a fantastic job looking at that tree that you decorated and envying it. You're committing idolatry. You're envying what God said don't do. Just had a conversation with Sandy, and I was telling her, I said, you know what? I said, I said, God's saving me from being rich and famous. And she about fell off the couch laughing. She goes, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, God knows me better than anybody else. And I said, he knows if I became really rich and everything, I don't play the lottery, but if I became really rich, he knows I'd do foolish things with it. Spend my money, waste it, and it'd be gone before I could say what happened to it. So he's saving me from becoming that. And then rich and famous, all you people say, well, I wish I could be a movie star or become famous on YouTube or something else like that. That means you'd have to go out and do foolish things. And he's saving me from my ignorance. So he's keeping me poor and humble. And that's the way you should be. You should be striving to be holy. That's what he says to do. All these fake churches out there say, how much money can you give us? It's the holiday season. We need to buy gifts. We need to buy extra food. We need to do this. We need to do that. We're setting up a nativity scene and we're selling tickets to hear and see fake Jesus. The Lord tells you, he says, look, the biggest gift, the greatest contribution is to give yourself to me. I don't need money. I don't need gifts. I don't need anything else. What I need is you. Think about that. If your church is saying you got to give all these tithings, you got to do this extra, you got to go out Christmas caroling to raise money so you can buy gifts, get out of that church. It's a fake church. If they're setting up Christmas decorations in your church, fake nativity scenes with fake plastic babies. No sketch artist was around. There was no pictures of Jesus in the time of the scriptures. If they're showing you a picture of a white Jesus, a black Jesus, brown Jesus, red Jesus, it's a lie. There's no pictures of God. God's a spirit. And we're sitting around looking at that tree saying, what a great job I've done. And then you guys get in an argument over idolatry because you didn't decorate it right. Look what's happening. The devil's laughing all the way saying, yeah, look at that, man. The spirit of Christmas just caused dissent in your household. Your children are counting on you to teach them right. This is a generational sin. Devil's laughing about that. He says, you know what? I had Greg when he was a little child celebrating Christmas because his mom and dad did it and his, his grandparents did that. They've been lying to you for generations. They've been ignoring God's word. So now it's a generational lie. Well, my kids so look forward to this time of year and all the new clothes and all the new toys and everything else like that. That's a lie. That's the reason why it's generational. Churches have stopped teaching you the truth. Get out of that church. You're better off reading it on your own, praying for help and asking for guidance. He tells you that. Be holy. Seek him out. Not some fake preacher looking for a Christmas bonus. Speaking of which, if you're having if you're at work and they're saying we're having a Christmas party, employee Christmas party, here's your Christmas bonus. Give it back. Don't go to Christmas parties. Don't go to Christmas dinners. Don't accept Christmas gifts. Don't accept your Christmas bonus because it's Christmas. If they want to reward you any other time and say, look, we appreciate your hard work. Here you go. But if it's directly because of Christmas, turn it back saying, thank you, but I can't do it. I'll continue to work hard for you, but I'm not going to accept any Christmas bonuses. And if they mock you, say, here, here's Jeremiah. This is what God said, not what Greg said. 
I'm striving to save my eternal life. What about you? Stop lying to your kids. Stop corrupting them. Stop sending them straight to hell. End the gener generational lying right now. Put a stopgap measure on saying, you know what? My eyes are open. No more Christmas. I'm sorry, but it's a lie. And I'm not lying to you anymore. Stop with the celebrations. Repent of your sins. Change your life. Open up your eyes. Ask for wisdom. If you think I'm lying, read Jeremiah 10. Go into, go into Luke, where the archangel came down to Mary and said, I'm visiting you. Guess what? You're not going to know any man, but you're going to conceive. You'll be a virgin birth. Read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And when people give you grief, say, what do you mean we're not celebrating Christmas? I'm trying to save my spiritual life, and I'm trying to save yours. Here's what it says. You can follow or not follow. But here's what it is. All right? Don't set up a Christmas tree. Don't bring that demon into your house. Stop it. There's nowhere in Scripture that says, Christ Jesus is born on December 25th. That's a lie. Stop kneeling before the nativity scene and saying, I'm celebrating baby Jesus. You're a liar. You're committing idolatry. There is no Santa Claus. Stop lying to your kids. Stop lying to each other. That's straight from hell. Satan laughing all the way. The Christmas spirit is to corrupt you, to make you fall back into it. Don't do that. Harsh message, can't help it. That's God's law. The hardest thing to do is get yourself holy. It's a struggle. It's the hardest thing you'll ever do. But you need to start that journey right now. Greg out.